Hi, thank you for joining. My name is Jesus. On this video, I will teach you how to set up face recognition on the new firmware for the Titanium Series only MBRs from ENS Security. I will break down the video in different parts because I cannot cover everything in just one video. There are so many features of face recognition that I'm pretty sure you guys will like for future installations. Don't get confused with face detection and face recognition. Face detection can only detect whether you're a person or you're a, an animal, a dog. And face recognition, you can actually save a pretty face like mine on the MBR system. <clears throat> can't believe it. You can actually save the, my face into the MBR unit and you can make it to recognize it in the future as someone that's welcome or someone that's not allowed or you could put a name on it. You could do many features with the new firmware with face recognition built in to the Titanium series without paying anything extra. So on this video, you will learn the basic how to just enable it and set it up to have face recognition. For other more advanced features, stay tuned for the playlist. I mean, for this video playlist that will have a breakdown of all the features of the new firmware that has face recognition. So let's get started, shall we? I can't believe I just set my pretty face on the MBI unit. You guys don't even believe that. So to enable face recognition on the system, you first go into the menu and then go to settings. Under settings, you will go under record. Under record, you will select the option that also has record plus analytics. If you do not see this option, click on Advance and then select that option. So let's select this option. And this is the resolution that the IP camera will record. If you're happy with the settings, just click OK. After that, we're going to go under the camera menu at the top. Or you can exit the menu and then go under camera. Under camera, on the left hand side, we will go under face detection, under smart settings. In this menu, if you have more than one IP camera that can detect the face, it will show up here. This menu only shows the cameras that support face recognition. So let's turn these options on. Once you click that on, just click apply. And then we go to processing mode. Under processing mode, you will select configure and you will select the camera that is going to be triggered for face recognition. So just select the camera and click OK. And if these options are off, like snapshot, push, just click them on and just click apply. After you do this, on the left hand side, go to face match. Under face match, First, we need to create a group. So to create a group, we go under target database management, and then you can click on the plus sign or add a group. So let's click on the plus sign. Groups are created so you could identify how you want to group faces. For example, you could have allow faces or you could have block faces. So in this case, I'm just gonna name it ENS. When I create a group, I can save faces under the ENS group. If I have more groups, for example, block list or allow list, I can also save faces onto those groups. Once I created a group, then I go to processing mode. Under processing mode, I'm going to enable the general option here. And then I will select the group. And then I will configure the IP camera. This is done by default, so it will automatically be configured once you select the group and you enable general. And then you click apply. Once you click apply, you can exit the system. And now when you make the system not to be full screen, if you click on this icon, a sidebar will appear. You can right click to go under face match or the best way is on the top right hand side corner, you click here and then select face match. Once you go and you see this menu face match, click on the settings 
on the bottom right hand side and just enable face tracking box. Now your system is ready for face recognition. I will stand in front of the camera and you guys will see that the system will recognize my, my face. As you guys can see, the system recognized my face even with a hat. And that is how you enable face recognition. Thank you so much for watching. Click the like, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Stay tuned for more videos about face recognition. Thank you guys.